Okay, so tonight I'm going to talk about uh, a place called Flowing Quills. Uh, this is in my History of Web Poetry series of videos. And Flowing Quills was a poetry board on yuku.com. It's still up. You can still go there. Uh, it was managed by a gal who went by the handle of Sand Dollar. And uh, one of the moderators was Wanda. Uh, Wanda the Fable Weaver she went by and uh, she's still a friend of mine uh, relatively on Facebook uh, I'm also a moderator in that forum um, it hasn't been used regularly in probably six or seven years it's still up uh, there are still archives of my friend Janine's poetry on there as well as some of mine and a couple of other poets that I know have passed away uh, for instance, uh, Poetic Peers, otherwise known as uh, Ivor, uh, Ivor, or Ivor, anyway. Um, there's a lot of good poetry on there. There's also a lot of imagery on there. Um, uh, there, I went back looking through that place the other day, and there's a lot of poetic names I just haven't seen uh, around in a while. Uh, Yuku.com has an awful lot of poetry boards on it. Uh, I know there's another one called the Airy, um, like uh, kind of like from the Game of Thrones with the fortress with the moon door in it. Um, there's an awful lot of good poetry hiding around in these ghost town boards like this. Uh, I, you know, I kind of wish some way, there was some way to bring them back. I, I know uh, Annette, a.k.a. Sand Dollar, uh, ended up not being able to uh, maintain the ad-free part of that forum. And it kind of went downhill from there. I don't know whatever happened to Annette. Um, it, it, I have no idea if she's, you know, living or passed away at this time. Uh, I'm kind of hoping she's still around, but uh, you just never know. I mean, poets come and go, but there was an awful lot of good poetry, and it was one of the great boards for a long time, and uh, a lot of activity back in its heyday. Uh, now it's just kind of a ghost town, so you can kind of wander around and read poetry to your heart's content on there. You can still post on it. I mean, it's entirely doable. I haven't done so in quite a while, but other than to uh, mark a poet's passing that I know of, you know, in case somebody does come by that used to be on the board and might know that poet. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. That's how the word spreads on the web is uh, by going to boards you used to go to once every few months and somebody might know what happened to someone else and then have posted something and you might find out a week later, six months later, a year later, who knows. But uh, anyway, uh, flowing quills on Yuku. Uh, the uh, main forum on there, the main open forum for freestyle poetry was called Crossroads. And uh, then Tapestries was more of uh, the, the graphic arts and pictures, um, photography type forum. Uh, there was one called Miniatures, which was uh, for short stories. Mm. Yeah, there, there's a lot of different boards. Uh, uh, usually these poetry boards online will have like a lounge area where everybody can just general chat. It's not really for poetry at all. It's just uh, talking to each other and having conversations. And then there may be um, things like archives of various poets for uh, poets poetry. There might be um, rooms for specific forms of poetry, uh, formal forms, workshop areas where you can learn forms or practice forms. Um, also, 
there there could be one sometimes for dark poetry um you know that's a lot more melancholy and uh, or uh angry that type of stuff then there's usually just a free for all freestyle poetry and po prose forum and uh yeah, you know, that's kind of the, the way it runs. There, there's some, I've seen some boards, Mystic Muse, for instance, had one for romance and another one for erotica and um, one for haiku and you know, quite a few different ones. It's interesting if you watch the structures of these boards, how they're laid out, there's, there's kind of a little bit of a common logic to it. But anyway, um, Flowing Quills on yuku.com. If you look them up, they're still around. Still lots of poetry there to read, and you can read all kinds of stuff for free on there. And uh, that's it for tonight.